Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to The Breakfast Club, episode 10. Sorry. How's it going over there? It's going great. <laughs> well, we hope you guys are having a good weekend. Um... Well, I was having a good weekend, and then at like midnight or one o'clock or two o'clock, we lost an hour. Oh, yes, daylight saving, or is it daylight saving time yes, or not daylight for, no. saving time? I don't know. Which I don't know what one? the technical like time zone terminology, but I don't know. I think it's daylight. Yeah, we're now on daylight savings time because now it's brighter in the right. evening and not in the morning. So the clocks went back. So whatever. The clocks time, went ahead. Yes. Spring, spring. forward, fall Sorry, behind. Sorry, I messed that up. I do not like this time change. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't even happened yet. <laughs> I know. I don't enjoy it. Yeah, so other than that, you know, this weekend's going great because, yeah. you know, life is awesome. I finally got my living room cleaned up. Boom. A little self-fulfilling prophecy there. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working on a little project for the last couple weeks, so my house has been a disaster. It's a firewall made of fire. No, it's a firewall made of wood, actually. With a, that sounds dangerous. A firewall made of wood. An electronic fireplace has been attached to, so no oh. worries. No worries. Not too bad, then. No. All good. Okay, well, what do we want to talk about? Uh, well, one, I don't know if we put them up yet because it's Saturday morning, but we did get those FX9s. Right. Which, so, boom, right here, a picture right from uh, sure a picture. Ty's Instagram. <laughs> See? I gotta, this is what we're going to start doing because I always say these things and I always forget to, you or never, not forget, I neglect. I neglect to send you the things that I say I'm going to send you. Yeah, it's like, a mixture. You forget and also neglect. You neglect and then you forget. 100% because <laughs> the lot we watched uh, so this past weekend not this weekend the past weekend I had my nephew over and it was Sunday morning we had pancakes we were sitting there we were watching the breakfast club Sunday morning because we didn't get a catch it Saturday morning no it was Saturday morning sorry whatever doesn't matter I neglected to post it on time on Saturday morning <laughs> so it was Sunday morning regardless there was a couple like we usually do these in like one take and there was a couple things cut out and I haven't discussed this with you yet but I'm super curious as to what I said that you cut out <laughs> Or did I just like screw up? Or is this where I said I was going to do something and I didn't do it, so you cut it out? I honestly don't even remember. There was like point. three instances where it was like. Sometimes you just ramble, and I'm like, you know what? We're going to cut out <laughs> 30 seconds out of this because there wasn't. There's no like. A, there's oh. no benefit to this. <laughs> I do ramble. <laughs> Yes. And if part of that rambling is like, oh, by the way, here's yeah. this thing we're going to show you, and then you never send me what we're going to show them. Right. So I... that was the original point of the statement, yeah. ramble. <laughs> uh, so these FX9s, four inch barrel, real cool. Yes. Come with a handguard, like come with the, not the handguard, they come with a super short handguard because it's four inches, but they have like that the thing. Why don't we have one here? I don't know, to be honest. We messed that up. Yeah, it's got the thing on it, which um, is called the, the thing you put on the thing. Okay, so Freedom Ordnance FX9, uh, before anyone asks, the non-restricted 18.6 inch barrel versions we do not have, and we are not anticipating to have them. They ain't coming this year. This year. End of story. That is unfortunate. Uh, there are a lot of interest in those, a lot of orders out for those. Yeah. But we did get a shipment of the short barreled restricted oh, versions. Yeah, in. so 9mm uh, pistol caliber carbine. Yep, they're 4 inch barrels. They're honestly a beautiful rifle. They like, are. Like, they are a very nice rifle. And they are. They're, they're like this big. It's, yeah. it's, it's glorious. We're so, going to uh, hopefully shoot one next week. Totally. So, yeah. yeah. One thing for everyone to note, you're going to see that the, what they come with is actually a pistol brace because in the U.S., Technically a handgun because they're like bah for their weird their laws. Rules are different. You think ours are bad? They're, theirs are just kind of all over the place. You they're have different. to like interpret them. They're very different. Yes. <laughs> so uh, the U.S. Uh, they are coming with pistol braces, not stock, so they're not adjustable. They're not a six-position AR-15 stock. If you do want to run an AR-15 stock on them, you do have to replace the buffer tube and the stock. Um. So on that note, with those FX9s, they are compatible with some. AR-15 components, most, most AR-15 but they components. also have their set of proprietary parts as yes. well. Yes, they have a proprietary part set, but like honestly from the back end to the front end, it's you know right. AR related, okay. uh, and the, the receivers themselves are proprietary along with a couple of the parts in them, okay. but nothing crazy. And of course they're 9 mil, so they're yeah. not. And these are restricted, Just if anyone didn't catch like how big <laughs> it is. <laughs> they're this big. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, looking forward to shooting that next week though. Those things are awesome. Ballers, um, if you will. Yeah, I'll go with that. Ballers. We got a bunch of B&T accessories. We did. Do we have any firearms coming our way? Oh, yes. Yeah. So we did get a small amount of firearms in this one. Oh, I didn't notice. Okay. Yeah. So trust. Oh, they're long gone. Oh, okay. Right. 
crazy gone. Okay. Uh, we are getting a, I don't know what you want to call it, monstrously big or just like Large. gargantuan or like whatever terminology. We need like a thesaurus. Uh, but <laughs> really big, <laughs> Jabungus. <laughs> okay. We're getting a Jabungus shipment. That sounds bad, <laughs> Jabungus. Okay. <laughs> so we're getting a really large shipment of GHM nines okay. and uh, an assortment of other nine mil carbines, both the Glock mag, TP nine, whatever. Okay. Uh, that's coming in right away, and that, like I said, is Jabungus. <laughs> like I don't think everyone understands how Jabungus it is. I don't think anyone understands anything you're saying right now. <laughs> If I'm being honest. I have a small So let's, let's get to the point. <laughs> this is the ramble part. Yeah. All right. So yeah, huge shipment coming in right away. We All the, the shipment that we got in this time was all the accessories. Okay. So accessories ship because those are way easier to leave. Right. And then the firearms are tailing behind. And then right after that one, an even bigger shipment. Okay. So the next like month or two. We'll have lots of B&T coming our way. A jabungus amount. There you go. <laughs> Uh, we also got a jabungus amount of brass. Yeah! <laughs> we were discussing uh, different versions of how you say uh, a certain unit of measurement, as in weight, like a blank ton or a different blank ton, right. and what the measurements would be in that. We got a really big blank ton of it. <laughs> yeah, lots of brass. Um, uh, about four drums of brass. What? Two, two, three, nine, okay. mil, and 40. <laughs> there you are. Caliber. Yeah, so that's all from Black Sheep Brass. Go Black Sheep Brass, because they're awesome. Uh, they, we were able to get in all the stuff. Um, we've got the three calibers in. It's all Candex Process Brass. Awesome to reload with. I've used it a bunch myself. Okay. Great stuff. Um, is it online yet? Probably not. I don't have any pictures of it, I can tell you that much, but it looks like brass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of like, it's kind of colorful. I don't know, brass colored. <laughs> Uh, it's in the shape of a casing. <laughs> um, as we've said the last few weeks, we got a handful more bows uh, coming into stock here. They're trickling in. We do have quite a selection of left-hand models as well. I've had a few questions on that. We are left-hand. We are the leftorium. I think I put that up on Facebook a little while ago. Literally, we are the leftorium. I know literally has options. no weight anymore, but, but yeah. literally. I would say for bows, like it's quite a big percentage of them are left-hand. So yes. Yeah. Well, we do. Like, I don't know what it is because half of our staff is left-handed. I was going to say, le being left-handed is very common. Maybe it's something in the water around here. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. A lot of lefties. Yeah. But if you're not right, you're left. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Honey. We also got a handful of Ruger 1022s. I didn't look too closely at which models, but... Uh, Sprinkled them in there. Yeah. I'm not certain. Sure They're in they 22. Are. they got 10-round mags. They go pew. I think they have a trigger. Potentially a stock. Um, we'll, sh we'll show you. Made by Ruglin. Oh, sorry, that's not happening yet. Uh, Ruger, oh, sorry, geez. not Ruglin. See, this is the stuff I typically cut out. <laughs> Why? You can't <laughs> cut this out. But I do. Ruger bought Marlin. Now they're going to make Ruglins. Okay. That's public knowledge. <laughs> oh, man. Um, we also got a different you one. Can't cut that out. <laughs> I'll keep going. <laughs> A Troy 223 pump action rifle. Oh, the battle axe stock. The bat yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna <laughs> confess to something here. I scan through the receiving report quickly and I generally grab pictures of things I'm missing for the items that are highlighted that we talk to you about today. Kaboom. And they also go in the newsletters. Um, just briefly looked at like the first half of the description of the item, ran to Troy's website, Got that lovely picture. Found, found the picture quite easily, actually. <laughs> Threw it up online. <laughs> Ty so looks you, over at me. <laughs> you can buy a $1,500 stock. It comes with a free gun, but you're buying the stock. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the wrong picture. I only found the picture of just the butt stock, not yes. the entire rifle. Didn't realize, didn't look at the price. Did Like I said, I only read the first half of the description. So I don't see those last. I, they might not even be on the site right now because I don't see them lasting too mm. long. We got them midweek. Okay. So hopefully they're there and you can snag one. Is this like a newer rifle? It's not newer. It just it's just not now, like common. Right. It's, they haven't been like distributed in bulk. Okay. Uh, so there's only small amounts. Like, like I mean, you don't there. see a pump action rifle very often anymore. No. And you're like, you're for a lot of them, like you can either have your Renegade, which is your straight pull bolt action, which we've shown here, or yeah. you can have your pump action rifle, which is a, honestly the same thing, but not. For a pump action, it's boom, chunk, chunk, and you're, you're reloading. It's actually a really short throw on those things. Yep. Whereas a Renegade is boom, take your hand off, reload, right. and back. So there's merit to both, and you yep. can switch the pump out. Um, they're pretty awesome rifles. Yeah. And Troy is good quality. Yep. 
So yeah, and they're, well, I can't remember the exact price, doesn't matter. They're out there, the bucks. link's below. <laughs> 1500 bucks. Is that what it is? Well, 1510. Yeah. Something around that. Yeah. Um, we got <clears throat> quite a selection of Vortex came in, so we should be restocked on some items there. Bam. And also a couple Crossman air rifles. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I have a compressor back. Attack. I have a compressor back here. <sighs> I forgot it was plugged in. So how long till that happens again? Ah, uh, give it a five minutes. Like, We're good. Should I unplug it? It's just the top one there, the bottom little plug there. We'll be right back. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> We're back. So that was the compressor. <laughs> I have one back here for the various activities we do back here. And uh, yeah, I forgot to unplug it. He uses it to clean up all his crumbs. That's really what it's back here for. <laughs> do not mock my crumb cleaning device. Um, look at this, no crumb. Okay, do not look where were we? Do you want ants? I heard, I heard that's ants. how ants start, yes. <laughs> no, I don't, I would prefer not to have ants back here. Uh, what were we talking about? I have no idea, the compressor kind of rattled me. <laughs> Crossman, air rifles? Air rifles, yeah. Just a couple. We've never like, historically Wolverine's always had some air rifles, but yeah. never the amount that we've had recently. And uh, it and is actually really cool. from Airsoft. Yes, yeah, you know, these are like ouchy ones, not yeah. like, <laughs> so are Airsoft, you know, they can hurt too, but not. These are a little. 1100 feet per second in yeah. a metal BB. Yeah, no, those, those, uh, those hurt. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> But um, we've had a lot of guys and a lot of interest and a lot of people just uh, continually asking for more air rifles. Why am I playing with that? I don't know. Because you like to do super annoying things all the time. All the time. <laughs> um, anyways, air rifles, great. We're getting a lot of requests for them. Our yeah. stock is growing every day. We have a ton of options, firearm or non-firearm. Yeah. Full auto, non-full auto, BB and pellet. We got them all. Lots it's of awesome. options. Um, okay, that was everything on my receiving report that we had highlighted, but Kaboom. I will let you take the reins on that thing. This <laughs> is the Cockroach of Firearms. High point, it's high a high point. point. <laughs> 995, I believe that's a used model we just got. It is a used right? model. Okay. So uh, when I say the Cockroach of Firearms, I mean that in the most endearing way possible. And I, I honestly do because- It will run and run and run and It run will survive an apocalypse. <laughs> no matter what, when everyone's down to the last couple rounds, the world's over, this thing will still be plugging away. <laughs> it is indestructible. So it takes nine mil. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. So single a stack, single stack. Five round pistol mags. Nine mil magazine, which why, why high point. But uh, so yeah, the ergonomics are that of a potato. Uh, <laughs> It's a huge, big, bulky, tiny little trigger guard, weird trigger. The bolt on it is just like a chunk, a chunk. Like it's, yeah. it sounds hilarious shooting it because it's just this mass of metal. Like it should be boom, a much boom. bigger caliber Yeah, you're putting through it. But it's not. But it's nine mil. We've also uh, punched the front sight off while we were shooting it, uh, banging it around. Uh, still we're hitting, well yeah, the red dot on it anyway. It's got this recoil reduction system built into the stock, which on a nine mil is kind of like, it's a little weird because, well, for myself, it, it you, shouldn't bounce that much. Well, it doesn't. So then like, if I know you shouldn't be like reseating the rifle while you're shooting, but right. I almost feel like I need to be like pushing it into my shoulder more. Well, you should be, you should be planting that gun right. into it. And with that, but it's, it's nothing, a false sense of planting. Yeah, yeah. So when it recoils, the gun is now twisting in your grip. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's not a proper, like it's a nine mil. There's not a lot of recoil to it and putting a shock buffer on there that has that much spring into it is giving you a false sense of security yeah. when you're actually planting it into your shoulder. You'd get used to it. <laughs> I guess you would have to if it's the apocalypse. This is what you there get. There you go. So yeah, this is like, oh, we're just gonna take this right off the wall and clear it. So it's heavy, it's cumbersome. It has the ergonomics of a potato. Uh, and I say that because it literally has a potato grip on it. This but is called a like, potato grip. But did you put the potato grip on it or I does it come potato. with a potato? Oh no, I put the potato grip on it. Okay. It literally matches it. I know. Okay. Literally. Okay. So yeah. No, it, uh, the front sight we did like, did a number on it. Well, you were banging it around pretty good. <laughs> Plus you dumped it in the snow. Well, we did dump it in the snow because honestly when we were talking, it's like, where can snow get in? And there's not a lot of places and it literally just gets it like wet. So again, it's, how do you hurt this thing? You don't. Is yeah, it just, like... <laughs> I mean, just the sound of it. It's like a hollow. We just threw the cheapest red dot, which I broke, um, right onto it. 
the yeah, it, it plugs away. I mean, if you, it's reliable. It's very reliable. I'm not sure what price point it's at. We don't have it listed yet. Like the dirtiest, cheapest gun you can buy. Like cheaper than an SKS. Okay, there you go. But Plus it's nine, it's nine mil. mil, so it's cheap. And it's shoot. a high point and it's non-restricted, right? Yeah, it's not restricted. <laughs> yeah, <didn't> right. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so we just had to shoot this thing and yeah. show people what it, what these do. Like, we have them on order. They're actually kind of scarce, like, not scarce. Uh, we just don't see them very often. Uh, but yeah, it's the dirtiest, cheapiest. We've been saying that about a lot of things lately. Cockroachiest gun. I haven't been saying that. No. Again, the mag, why? I gotta fiddle. I feel like I have to fiddle at all times. You're very high <sighs> energy. That's what the viewers have noted. Yeah. You need to calm down a little bit. Some you're a little stressful sometimes with it's your energy. It's mid afternoon and all I do is drink coffee. <laughs> Thanks, <right>. Bolt Action. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> you have any decaf you can send our way? <laughs> Once again, there's the plug. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bolt Action Coffee supplying the coffee. <laughs> um, well, except for me because he took the last out of the coffee pot. And... <laughs> oh, we were gonna talk about. Those straws. Oh yeah, my sippy straws. We got, so we like to bring sprinkle and random outdoor stuff into these episodes. This is totally not sprinkling it in. So Clean Sip is an awesome okay. device. I haven't checked these out at all, so I don't know anything about them. Uh, other than he said we need to talk about sippy straws. Sippy and straw. I go, <laughs> okay. So Clean Sip is a, it's a water purifying device that you can carry on your person. Like it's literally a straw with a, the sucky end. <laughs> Like that's what it looks like, right? So it's a straw with a sucky end on it, uh, multiple colors. So you can, you know, if I have red, you have blue, right. don't get it mixed up. Okay. Uh, so it basically, right off the bat, you take it out of the packaging and you can go to any water source. So it's, a, just, it's got a built-in filter. It's a built-in filtration system. Okay. So you're carrying, allow, uh, carrying around a little Brita. Right. So basically you can go to any water source, um, but <laughs> flowing, stagnant, whatever you want. Yeah, so we'll have to check that out. They, obviously, the level of filtration is for safe consumption. Oh, yes. Yeah. So at, uh, as you start sucking water through it, once water stops coming through it, that's it. Okay. It's already it's filtered out enough. Okay. So it'll actually, the, the straw itself will stop producing water coming through it because it'll plug itself. Oh. So as, the, as it's filtering things through it, it'll be catching all those bacteria and everything into it, hmm. and then... Once water stops flowing through, stop using the straw because it's no longer filtering, it's right. just plugged. Okay. How do you clean it? You don't. They're disposable. Oh, they're disposable. They're good for about 40 liters of water. Oh, okay. So gotcha. It's, it's pretty good. Like, if you're going on you a camping... get a lot of mileage or, out of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. A one camping trip for, like, one a day is... That's... Yeah. Are you going to drink 40 liters of water in a day? Because <laughs> I don't think so. So you get no. a ton of mileage out of it. Uh, it's good for any kind of water source. Like I said, uh, obviously, the more disgusting the water yeah. source, the worse it gets. Right, and but. probably maybe not, won't last ever <laughs> for that whole 40 liters. <laughs> but you know, if you're out camping or anything like that, or uh, mm. adventuring in the mountains and you're, you're you stop by a stream. not sure. Right. Yeah. It's a super cheap and simple device to use to ensure that you can have safe water, water to drink while you're out and about. Exactly. Okay. Well, that's cool. I would, I'll probably look at those. Right. It doesn't really work. <laughs> it doesn't really work if you want to like fill a container because you'd have to suck it in your mouth and spill it in your <laughs> container. So if you're like wanting to like boil some water for coffee, it would be, it'd be kind of this weird process. Right. I guess. It has its application. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing I'll consider cutting out. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> All right, that's all we got for you. Uh, I think it's supposed to be a nice weekend again. We had a little bout of winter that was like, hey guys, remember how I said don't get too excited, Andrea? Like it's still yeah, winter. It's, uh, we were second reminded. spring coming yeah. up. But it's supposed to be nice again, so it won't last for yeah. too long. All right. Yeah, Anything that's else? about it. No. Okay. Well, I think next week we should eat another MRE because I, I I got so many I'm people pretty... message me about chewing in their ear, and I had to look up things which I'm. The internet's weird. The internet is, it's a little, We yeah. were told about things, I'm like, what is that? So I had to Google it, I'm like, ah, why do people pay for this? <laughs> I don't think that the people need to watch us eat more food. No, no, listen. I... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, have a good weekend, and we will see you next week. <laughs> don't forget about us. <laughs>